Hi Aquarius, you need to know this right now for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Aquarius could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Cups for Aquarius. Aquarius, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So Aquarius, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Taurus, listen, I mean, really Taurus, Aquarius could be dealing with a Taurus, but you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Aquarius. Clarify the Hierophant for Aquarius. Clarify the Hierophant for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Aquarius, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. 
Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Aquarius, this is you. I don't know why. I just got to be straight. I clarify the king of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the king of swords for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone uh, strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Aquarius, listen, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. I ask, what about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness, sneakiness, or sneaking off here. Now, Aquarius, listen. You can tell me that you still have a great deal of love here with the King of Cups. And you're wanting forgiveness and a second chance here, maybe to restore you guys' commitment here. You know, you're wanting forgiveness over some type of deception here. So you want to speak on you guys' commitment, okay? And forgiveness. However, Aquarius, you can also, we're going to find out, but you could also tell me that, yes, you have a great deal of love for this person, but you just need to stand in your energy and your power as the King of Swords to make a decision concerning some type of deception here. And maybe some type of commitment and whether or not you want to forgive Aquarius, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Aquarius, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past, flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Aquarius, listen, you could be having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. So Aquarius, listen, now you can tell me that you guys are stagnant because of your betrayal and you're wanting to reunite here. Okay, wanting forgiveness and a second chance here, yes. Aquarius, you can tell me that you're stagnant with this person because something from the past is being brought back up here. We're discovering some type of betrayal here or some type of deception here. Aquarius, you can tell me that you guys went stagnant because someone from your past is in the picture or someone from their past is in the picture. And I hope we're not stagnant because children are involved. Aquarius, you have the world. Could be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future, but the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. 
Clear up of the world for Aquarius. Just flying out. Who is this Queen of Wands? <laughs> Clarify the world for Aquarius. Clarify the world for Aquarius. Clarify the world for Aquarius. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull here. You can tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius. Clarify the lovers for Aquarius. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. You know, Aquarius, you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. And you're waiting to see whether or not they're going to come back around again or allow you to come back around again. Aquarius, you can tell me that there's some type of distance here, some type of travel or distance here with another other lover being involved here. You have the strong twin flame magnetic pull here, but there's some type of distance. Aquarius, you can tell me that a cycle is closing out because someone here had another other lover cheating here. OK, someone started to look to see what else is out there. Or you can tell me that you yourself are closing out this cycle because they had another lo other lover. And now you're looking to see what else is out there. Aquarius, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Aquarius, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Aquarius, it is clarified with the five of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aquarius, listen, you know, very well could be something going on financially, some type of financial lack here, or this is a breakup. Now, Aquarius. You very well could be speaking on practicality here, okay? Where you're having to make a decision, Aquarius. Now, either you're making a decision to be strategic here or you're making a decision because there's some type of deception dealing with practicality here. Whereas practicality has slowed down tremendously with this person from your past because of something that happened in the past or because of children here. Maybe we're closing out this cycle because we're coming into some type of an agreement here. And we can finally like move on here. But there's some type of needing to get things straight concerning practicality or coins. However, Aquarius, you can tell me that there's a confrontation taking place here. And then there's a breakup. Aquarius, <clears throat> you have the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aquarius, listen, very well could be getting your wish here. However, you can tell me that you're feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Aquarius. 
Clarify the Nine of Cups for Aquarius. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. You know, Aquarius, listen, <laughs> it all depends on how you look at it, okay? It just all depends on how you look at it. Because Aquarius, you can tell me that, you know what? I'm overindulging, trying to numb out here. I need to recover. We're on a break. I'm overindulging. I'm just... I'm, I'm just, I feel some type of way, you know, and I don't like that energy. You're just doing it actually. However, Aquarius, you can tell me, you know what? I'm happy that we can finally put this shit to rest. I'm happy that the cycle is closing out. I'm happy that everything is being decided. I'm happy that, you know, you know, it, it took the turn that it took. Aquarius, you need to know this right now for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.